Hello and welcome to the Orthodox View, where we discuss latest religious news from an Orthodox Christian perspective. I am its host, Philip Champion. The priests of the Church of Alexandria, who have not supported the Ukrainian schism, are subjected to strong pressure. As Archpriest Andriy Novikov recounted on his Facebook page, Greek Bishop Agathonikos has already banished six African abbots. Earlier, Agathonikos had already allegedly threatened to kill those who disagree with the schism. Archpriest Andriy Novikov also mentioned an audio recording that he had at his disposal. On it, the Greek hierarch is talking with one of the priests. During the conversation, he boasts of his high-ranking friends, threatens to put the priests to prison and slanders Patriarch Kirill of Moscow and all Russia, alleging that he bribes priests from Africa. Archpriest Andriy Novikov believes that there is every reason for accepting African clergy into the Russian church. I quote, It was demanded that they should acknowledge the authority of Theodorus of Alexandria and accept all his decisions. That means to accept the acknowledgement of the so-called Orthodox Church of Ukraine as well. It is a straight demand to acknowledge the schism. The Russian Orthodox Church will be represented in Africa. Precisely how, it will be determined at the next sessions of the Holy Synod. This was stated by Metropolitan Hilarion of Volokolamsk. The hierarch said that dozens of priests of the Church of Alexandria refused to acknowledge the schism and asked to accept them in the jurisdiction of the Moscow Patriarchate. The Russian Church has no reasons and ability to refuse the request. When the Patriarch of Alexandria joined the Patriarch of Constantinople and acknowledged the schismatic structure in Ukraine as an Orthodox Church, and mentioned her leader's name during the liturgy, it caused an internal schism in the Church of Alexandria, which was to be expected. A number of priests who disagreed with this mention and with the acknowledgement of the schism appealed to Patriarch Kirill of Moscow and all Russia to accept them in the Russian Orthodox Church. After Patriarch Theodorus had finally associated himself with the schism, we have no reasons nor ability to refuse such appeals. How long it will be considered and how exactly will our presence in Africa be regulated structurally, we will have to decide at the next sessions of the Holy Synod. One of the communities of the canonical Orthodox Church in Ukraine has built a new church building. The church was dedicated to the great martyr St. George the Conqueror on October the 3rd at the Pesky village in western Ukraine. The previous church was captured by the OCU supporters as far back as 2019, but the faithful did not give way to despair and continued to assemble for worship services. Earlier, the Ukrainian Orthodox Church representative, Metropolitan Anthony, told us that for the last years the schismatics seized by force 144 churches of the canonical church throughout Ukraine. In addition, they practice the so-called quiet capture, an unlawful re-registration of churches as belonging to non-existent schismatic communities. There are over 500 of such cases. <music> Patriarch Bartholomew of Constantinople has lost the right to be called the spiritual leader of the Orthodox population of the world and to represent the world orthodoxy. This opinion was expressed by Metropolitan Hilarion of Lokalamsk. His eminence stressed that Patriarch Bartholomew, by a stroke of pen, abolished, as it were, the multi-million canonical Church of Ukraine and handed over her rights to the schismatic structure. There are also attempts to hand over to them the property of the canonical Church. Moreover, it is done with the help of the Ukrainian state. These lawless actions point to the fact that the Patriarch of Constantinople has lost the canonical consciousness and accord with other local churches. In this case, he acted not only without consent of, but also contrary to the position of the Russian Orthodox Church. 
Therefore, he has received what he has deserved. The words intended for him are deserved by him in full measure. He has ceased to become the first among equals in the family of local Orthodox churches, because he wished to be the first without equals. However, there is no such thing in the Orthodox Church. Patriarch Bartholomew has lost the right to be called the spiritual leader of the 300 million strong Orthodox population of the planet, and he no longer represents the world Orthodoxy. The 9th International Orthodox Film Festival Pakrov will open next week. As many as 84 films from 11 countries aspire for the first prize. For the first time, the event will be held not only live, but also in an online format. It means that anyone from any part of the world can become its guest. The films will be available for watching from October 14th to the 21st at several platforms, including the festival's website and the YouTube channel of the SPAS TV channel. The organizers point out that their aim is to make Christian movies popular, those movies that contain Christian values and make people feel and think. This is all for now. Thank you for your attention and see you next time on The Orthodox View.